Hey team, today we're going to be taking a look at Castles of Kalira. It sits two to four players and plays in around 10 minutes. It's published by Colors Board Games and at time of upload it is available to back on Kickstarter. So the game's a micro card game with what I think is a neat take on the format. Uh, artwork wise, it's a fantasy theme. It's really well executed. Um, my home printed version does not even come close to doing the artwork here justice. So the aim of the game is there's a, a central deck. Uh, each player gets two cards. Uh, you draw one, you play one from hand to build a castle. Uh, so the aim is to have the best castle when there's no cards left by measure of points. Uh, cards have got various point values indicated on the bottom. Uh, so as I say, you achieve this by on your turn you draw a card and you'll play one from hand. Uh, and when you play a card uh, or a card's revealed, the ability on the card gets resolved. Uh, so you can either play a card face up or, or face down, uh, and then that will complete your turn. Uh, and it goes to the next person, so on and so forth, until there's no cards remaining. So when playing a card, you can play it face up where you get the abilities uh, resolved. So for example, exchange a card from your hand with another player, or face down. Uh, face down cards are only worth one point each at the end of the game scoring phase. Uh, but there are ways to flip over the cards using other cards uh, and then their abilities are resolved. Castles of Kalira was uh, really refreshing to play. I like the, the gold standard micro games of yesteryear. Uh, things like Love Letter, still get table time, um, but this was, was really different. The, the face down element where you're playing cards and your opponents don't know what they are uh, adds a, another level of strategy and tension that was really enjoyable. I've not seen that done uh, in this way in the micro game kind of category before. Um, and with that in mind, the, the short gameplay uh, and lightweight nature means it won't be a, a game night main event. But it certainly should be an undercard option as well as even uh, an EDC contender. Yeah, it's, it's really neat. Um, there you go. Castles of Kalira, live on Kickstarter. I'll uh, chuck all the links down below. It's definitely worth, worth a look. Thanks.